C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. China, Jianghai City Boom. A bolt of lightning pierced through the sky like a silver dragon, breaking the silence of the night. That I in the blink of an eye, it was as if day had arrived within a circumference of five kilometers. Cough, cough. A teenager that was lying in the corner of the trash heap suddenly coughed. His face was pale, his forelimbs twitching uncontrollably. As if he was experiencing great pain, dot a strand of bright red blood quietly dripped from the corner of his mouth. It was a shocking sight. Chi, suddenly, the youth's eyes opened wide, and two sharp lights shot out like peerless sharp swords. What kind of terrifying pupils were those? They were filled with sharpness, dominance, and killing intent, he was like an emperor that wielded authority over the world. He was unparalleled since ancient times and no one dared to look him in the eye. Here. Yes. The youth's face revealed a trace of confusion. After a moment, he raised his head and laughed. I, Yi Kai, have been reborn. The owner of this body was also known as Yi Kai, a young master of Jiang Hai who, because he had provoked a great power, was tragically killed by an expert of the other party. The current him was from the depths of the universe, the carefree sovereign who possessed the ability to transcend the heavens. He had been born from destiny. One year passed, he had become an immortal, he had been a saint for ten years, he had transcended from the great Tao in a hundred years, and had become the most powerful paragon in the world. However, when the foreign demons invaded and fought the sky devouring demon to the death, they thought that they would die together with it. They never thought that there would still be a remnant soul left. Even though I have lost all my cultivation, as a Zhizun, how can I fear another life? Yi Kai raised his head with his hands behind his back and looked straight at the stars, the light in his eyes unsettled. When I return to the holy realm, I will definitely slaughter my way into the other realms and exterminate all the evil spirits. At this moment, an ambulance sped past them on the road. Ye Kai slightly lifted his head as a strange light flashed across his eyes. It's Chu Yunyan from the Chu family. She seems to have been poisoned by a poisonous goo. Chu Yunyan was the woman that her previous self Ye Kai had been chasing after all this time. Fine, since I borrowed your body, I will help you save her life. Yi Kai waved his hands behind his back as he sped towards the ambulance. Dot. Inside the hospital, a middle dot aged man was walking around anxiously outside the emergency room. He appeared to be restless that he was the patriarch of Chu family, the Chu Tianyang who possessed tens of billions of years of wealth. Y Yi Kai slowly walked out of the emergency room. Seeing Chu Tianyang looking at him suspiciously, but just as he was about to introduce himself, Chu Tianyang ignored him as if he was a passerby, the emergency room flashed with a glaring red light. Yi Kai looked inside and spoke to Chu Tianyang with the tone of an expert from another world. Your daughter's condition is not ordinary, they cannot treat her. Unfathomable. Just as Chu Tianyang was cursing in his heart, a few handsome men and women, who were clearly rich kids, walked over from the corridor and ignored Yi Kai once again, the skinny white youth walking right in front was called Qin Dong. After he saw Chu Tianyang, he hurriedly walked forward and asked with concern. Uncle Chu, how is Yun Yen? What's going on with Yun Yen, why did she suddenly faint at the banquet? A petite girl beside him also had a face full of worry. Sigh. Chu Tianyang shook his head and let out a long sigh, his tone filled with concern, as though he was speaking of the vicissitudes of life from the withered bark of a poplar in the desert. Ye Kai, who was standing alone on the other side, calculated the time and thought in his heart. I can't drag this on any longer. He didn't want to waste any more time on these ignorant people. He pushed open the emergency room door and strode inside. What are you doing? Who allowed you to enter the emergency room? Get out. The attending physician in the emergency room immediately shouted. What kind of joke was this? How could an important area like this be easily accessible to outsiders? If you can't save her, then let me. Yi Kai said coldly. Brother, doing this will only delay the doctor. Qin Dong also rushed in, wanting to stop Yi Kai. Her her. 
Yi Kai sneered, completely ignoring him, he directly went to the side of the operation table and retorted. You guys haven't made any movements for so long, it's obvious that you can't find the cause of this disease. That's none of your business. I'm the doctor, get out of here. The doctor scowled, the fat of his chin quivered, and he raised his hand to signal the nurse to shove him out. Qin Dong helped the nurse drive them away, but he was easily pushed to the ground by Yi Kai as he stared at Yi Kai in rage and distress. Little big brother, are you a doctor too? Can it save Yun Yen? A girl beside him asked anxiously. Of course. Yi Kai said calmly, as he gave the young lady an extra glance. It's Yi Qinying, she was from the Mainyi family branch in the capital, and was a sibling from the same clan that was not related by blood as her previous self. The reason why she could not recognize him was because he had used a transformation technique to change his appearance. Now, in everyone's eyes, he was a stranger. Uncle Chu, how about we let this brother give it a try? Yi Qinying suggested. No way. The attending physician directly rejected him. The hospital has its own rules. Even if godly Dr. Shui Wudong has come, he has to follow them. Otherwise, wouldn't that mean that any random cat or dog can do whatever they want? After he finished, he intentionally looked at Yi Kai, clearly showing that he was hinting at something. If you can't do it, then you can't. Why are you being so fierce? Yi Qingying stuck out her tongue, her face filled with displeasure. Doctor, what happened to my daughter? Chu Tianyang looked at his unconscious daughter on the bed, his face full of worry, the attending physician shook his head. We've carefully examined her for many times, but we've been unable to find anything wrong with her. Furthermore, all of her physical signs are very normal. Everyone's expression changed. If they couldn't even find the cause of the disease in the best hospital in Xianghai, was he really going to ask Divine Dr. Shui for help? But that old Divine Doctor had a strange temperament, he would never rashly make a move, after hearing it so much, the corner of Yi Kai's mouth twitched, and he asked solemnly. Are you deaf? I said I can save you. With just you. The main doctor laughed and glanced at Yi Kai with contempt. He looked ordinary and was only 18 or 19 years old, this brat knows medicine, who was he fooling? I've practiced medicine for 20 years and saved countless lives. I've received praises from the medical community both at home and abroad for many of my papers. Even I can't find a solution to this, so what are you going to do about it? Yi Kai laughed coldly. What are you going to save me with? One finger is enough. He he, a finger. Brat, if you can save her, I'll immediately give you the position of the hospital's director. But if you can't save me, you must kneel down to me and apologize for looking down on my medical skills. Yi Kai completely ignored the doctor, walked over to the bedside and lightly tapped the center of Chu Yunyan's brows with her index finger, everyone who had originally given up looked at Yi Kai with faces brimming with anticipation, only Qin Dong was laughing coldly. You want to save her? Impossible. Other than me, Qin Dong, there's no one else who can save Chu Yunyan. As long as this brat makes a fool of himself and I help to save Chu Yunyan, old man Chu will probably worship me like a god. Thinking about it here, the joy in Qin Dong's eyes became stronger and stronger. Y E Kai looked at the bed frame, at the pale Chu Yunyan. It had to be said that her looks were quite good. Her oval face was the size of a palm and had delicate facial features. Her skin was fair and shiny, as if it could squeeze out water with a pinch. Such a low-rank poison goo is simply too weak to withstand a single blow. Come out. Ha! Yi Kai tapped hard with his index finger, and the powerful spiritual strength suddenly exploded from his soul consciousness, instantly enveloping Chu Yunyan within, Wang. Asterisk when Yi Kai felt something soft moving inside his index finger, and at the same time felt a sharp pain, he loosened his grip on his index finger. In the center of his finger, as well as between Chu Yunyan's eyebrows, there was a small wisp of blood. Y E Kai stopped, and immediately rushed over and asked. How is it? Does that even need to be said? 
With such a light tap, how could he possibly save someone? Qin Dong mocked, the attending physician also walked up and shouted loudly, kneel down and apologize, brat. The other young girls and boys also secretly shook their heads. They never thought that this boy was really deliberately mystifying, Qin Dong slowly put his hands into his pockets, preparing to take out his antidote that IT was time for him to show off. Uncle Chu, I actually have a way, I, where am I? Suddenly, the unconscious Chu Yunyan opened her eyes and spoke in a weak voice. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.